Treesum Lopez, all the way in the Bronx. Treesum Lopez, I got a word for the Lord for you. That is not a good word, it's to rebuke you. I talked about a, a racist Jew on yesterday. He came to my Facebook page, started viewing out a lot of racist remarks. I don't got to go through the repeats. Then he began to quote scriptures. Ah, he said he served the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob. Then he began to talk about the laws of Moses, the commandments of God. God bless you, man of God. I'm happy to see you today, brother. You're too blessed to be stressed. God is with you, brother. God has great things in store for you. Hallelujah. God is blessing that young man. I'm praying for that young man just on the last month. Praise God. And God is delivering him and setting him free. Jesus can do it. Jesus is not a myth, but he's the truth. Your man was on drugs. Now look how the Lord is blessing this young man. Filling him, up, filling him with the power of the Holy Ghost. Going back to this man. Ah, Lopez. Let me spell this man's name real quick because you're all the way in the Bronx. I came from the Bronx, grew up in the Bronx, born in Harlem. So let me go to this. I want to spell this man's name. Ah, Treason. T R E A S M. And Lopez is his last name. L O P E Z. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm going to call him out. We had a debate close to an hour on last week, and you, and you left some nasty statements on Preacher Warren's page. I had to rebuke you. You came against the gospel. You came against the name of Jesus. But yet you had the nerve to say that you love Jesus. How can you say you love Jesus and then turn back around and come against his servants? How can you say that you love Jesus and then turn back around and be fake? If you want to make it, don't fake it. Now I want to warn you a certain church in the Bronx. This man wanted to challenge me. Somebody you want to expose me. Expose what? I'm going to expose the devil right now. Like I did on yesterday. Not just expose it, but cast it out in the name of Jesus. Look what the Bible declares in 1 Corinthians ah, chapter 3, verse 17. The Bible said, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Now watch this. This man, Lopez, came to my Facebook, began to put down black people, saying we're the lowest of the lowest. No, we're not. We shall be the head and not the tail. Now, it's a, a white Jew. It's like a white racist Jew. I don't go for no racist mess. Racism is of the devil. God don't hate black skin. God hates a black heart. Just like God don't hate white. God hate envy and strife and spite. I'm going to rebuke this racist demon right now. Then you're going to say, ah, now I looked on your page. I saw your photograph, and you have a nerve to be praying in a church. I saw your photograph, didn't see your face. But I saw your photograph of you praying inside of a church. It's a church group. Now I saw black people in that group. Watch this. I'm gonna get to a point. But here you come on my Facebook, putting down black people, saying we are the lowest of the lowest. We are not niggas, we are winners. The only time that a black man or a black woman is not a winner is when they kill each other and do witchcraft against each other and be jealous of one another. But we are winners as long as we in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're not no niggas, we're winners. We ain't the lowest of the lowest. Now as a white Jew, now you have a nerve to talk about us have been in slavery well, yet Hitler, back in Germany, y'all know who Hitler was back in the 1940s. If you don't know, study the history. Had six million Jews thrown in the consecration camp in a gas chamber and burned them up. So how is a racist Jew 
gonna talk and make mockery out the fact that our people was in slavery where you went through the same thing. That's hypocritical. Now, then the man came in my Facebook, that's what he said. We had a debate. He put down the women about the raping women. In my church, we ain't gonna have no women getting raped in my church. There ain't gonna be no gun violence, not in my church. There ain't gonna be no racism, not in my church, because it's gonna be God's holy church. Gotta take a stand against the demons of racism and hate and witchcraft and devil worship. I'm gonna put the Holy Ghost on you again. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, if any man defiles the temple of God, I mean, if you rape a woman, if you try to molest a little child, if you try to corrupt little children who are innocent, that means I like the white man, the white racist. We're not saying all white people are racist. I got white friends. I got Jewish friends. But I want to address this old racist demon right now. You want to spew this mess on Preacher Warren's channel? When you talk about our black women who got raped during the days of slavery by the white man who called himself the master, right there, they defile the temple. Look what God said. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? Oh, come on. Now you wonder why bad things happen when goes around, come around. That's why you so mixed up. That's why you so mixed up. That's why you bugging out and talking all this nonsense. Now, you in the South Bronx, because this man is in the Bronx. I want you to know about this man He on Facebook, because I saw some black people up in the congregation that he was standing with so-called praying. First of all, I don't know who you praying to because if you praying to Jesus, are you praying to God? We believe that Jesus is God. How can you say you love Jesus and don't believe in his works and his miracles? Jesus was not an ordinary man. Now, this man is up in your church, up in the Bronx. Black people in the church. I want you to know what's going on. Let me give you some scripture to back it up. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 13. But them that are without God judges, therefore put away from among yourselves that wicked person. You got a wicked person in your church. I want you to know, up in the Bronx, I want you to go to his Facebook page. Somebody exposing somebody. I'm going to expose you right now. Now watch this. You got a devil in your church. We're going to cast the devil out right now in the name of Jesus. Look what this devil said to me. To my, you love Jesus. You say you love God. You're a racist Jew. I'm going to rebuke this demonic spirit in the name of Jesus and cast it out. Now, this man, uh, Chisum Lopez, I'm going to spell it. T R E A S M Lopez, spelled L O P E S. I came from the Bronx, born in Harlem. I want you to know who this man is. Go to his Facebook because you got this man up in your church talking racist comments against black people. Election of the, the election of the devil come right in church. You got wolves even in church. You got witches and warlocks even in church. We got to expose them. The Bible said, if any wicked man is among you, including the witch, who's a woman, put him away. Like Jesus cast out the money chainers at the temple with a whip. So he advocating violence. No, I'm not. I'm against wickedness. Look what this man said to me. We had this debate. He told me he loved Jesus. And told me he worshiped the God of Abraham. And Adam, Abraham never was racist. Adam wasn't racist. Adam didn't talk nasty like you. Look how this man was talking nasty. You old nasty devil. I'm going to deal with you. Actually, God is going to deal with you. 
Look what he goes on to say. I kept talking about Jesus because I don't entertain nonsense. I don't entertain that spirit and try to stoop down on his level. You got to be wise. Because all the devil want to do is get you all upset and mad and get to your spirit. This is called a narcissist. I'm going to teach you how to overcome a narcissist. The devil is the accuser of the brethren. You only do it to those who love Jesus. That means you're on the right track. You're taking the straight gate. He's not going to do it to the ones who he already have. Come on, somebody. Now this man began to talk about my wife, Lady Priscilla. We don't even know this man. Look what, she, look what he said. He said, your wife is a whore. Nobody wants a whore. That's what he tells me now. Watch this. Now watch this. Then he goes and say, your wife is used, used like a tissue paper by, other, by others in the ministry. I know that's not true. Then he goes and say, so I want you to see this. Now, I know it's graphic, but I want you to see this. The preacher Warren keeps it real. Look what this man, Jesus Lopez said, the man supposed to my, he loved Jesus. To my, you love God and you in church, up in the Bronx. Look, look, look what he said. She Fs, I'm not gonna say the curse word. He says she Fs so many men. You're talking about my wife now. It's ridiculous. Then he go on to say, how many Ds? You know what that means. I'm not gonna say the word. That woman has seen. Holy moly. He couldn't break me when it came to the word. He wanted me to stop preaching the gospel. So now he won't go talk about my wife now. Watch this. Then he goes and say, she's seen and ate more D's than most people. I tell him, you ain't got no power, you liar. I say, hallelujah. Now I know you the devil now. You just, you just expose yourself. Look what he's, he says. He goes on to say she's a whore. I said, thank you, God, for using this skull to encourage preacher Warren. The man put a skull on my Facebook. The skull represents death God is not death he's life Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life though he was dead yet shall he live oh hallelujah he that believeth in me shall never die now this man claimed to love Jesus now I, now I want to talk about this man because he's up in your church he may try to make a pass of your wife watch this then he goes on to say you're married to a whore, whore. You, your deed has expired. Then I go and say, the skull himself, the angel of death is talking to preacher Warren. I said, God got power over death because he put the skull on my Facebook. I could have been deleted him by wanting to deal with this demon to let him know you ain't got no power over me. Then she, he kept talking about my wife lying on her, trying to get me to think to how the devil is. Try to get me to think that my wife is cheating on me. Look what he, she, he says. She Fs me three times a month. Now he's saying that my wife is having sex with him. I said, let's talk about Jesus. I said, let's talk about Jesus. The man kept going. He kept saying, uh, you lick my cum. When you kiss her, you're smelling my D. I know it's getting graphic, but I want to let you see how the enemy works. Now, I'm going to teach you how to overcome it. Then I said to him, Jesus has power over death and over you. And God gave me power over that demon of lies. I said, you're a liar. Then he kept talking. He kept saying, she doesn't blow that good, though. She S, she S, but she can't take too much. As we go on to say, this is Treason Lopez. Who's in your church up in the Bronx? Go to his Facebook to expose this demon. I want you to know the devil, the kind of devil you have in your church, if that's God's church. Watch this. Then he go on to say, she sucks, but she can't take too much. I taught her to take it more deep. He kept talking. My response was, Hallelujah! Keep talking about it. Let's keep talking about Jesus. He's the King of Kings. 
He's a Lord of Lords, not you. Hallelujah. That's why that's my response to him. Who's the King of Kings? Who's the Lord of Lords? Jesus Christ. I didn't entertain that spirit. I already knew he was trying to get to my emotions. This is what a narcissist do. I already knew he was trying to get me out of my character. I already knew that he wanted to take me away from the anointing, but try to make me think that my wife is not being faithful. Then he went to say, then go on to say that he was sexing her up in Freeport, Long Island. Not true. Tell you how the devil's a liar. Watch this. So that means this man, Jesus Lopez, had went to my wife's former Facebook and saw she came from Freeport. So I already know you were lying. I have the tech this mind. <laughs> I kept talking about Jesus and praising the Lord, saying hallelujah, even though he was spewing all his dirt. Watch this. He said, fake religion. I don't just have a religion. I have a relationship. I lie. You see, you may have a religion, but it does not mean you have a relationship with God. That's the difference between you and me. Because if you had a relationship with God, you wouldn't be cursing and talking all this nasty stuff. And talking about you love Jesus. No, you don't. Because Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You ain't keeping God's commandments. And you had some nerve to talk talk about Dias and I commit adultery, quoting the, quoting the Ten Commandments. A racist Jew coming to my Facebook. God is against you. God wants us to love one another and not hate each other and not do witchcraft against each other. It's too much hatred in the world. Love one another. As Christ had love you. Repent from the racism. Now look what he, look what he going to say. Said, I know it's graphic. I know you're going to say, Preacher Warren, please stop reading that. I want to let you know what's going on. Because Preacher Warren keeps it real. She said, she s my d city. I said, let's talk about the king of kings Jesus then his response was your wife is my queen see try to tell lies about my wife to try to cause division between me and my wife that ain't gonna work because who the Lord joined together let no man put asunder when God joins the marriage together when you mess with a God ordained marriage you trying to defile the temple the Bible said God would destroy you can't curse who God has blessed. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Thank you, Jesus. I kept talking about Jesus. I said, now let's talk about Jesus. He kept going with his mess. I don't got to read the rest of it. I said, who's the king of kings? He said he loved Jesus. Look what he said. He said, Michael Jordan. He said, Seth Curry. Now this, now this is supposed to be a Jew now who say he worshiped the God of Abraham and Adam. Quoting all these Bible scriptures. Then you say you ought to expose idol worshipers. How you trying to expose somebody and you ain't living right yourself and you cursing, talking nasty talk on the social media. That's what's wrong with social media. It's too much corruption on the social media it's time to get the holy ghost on the social media and talk about jesus hallelujah thank you lord he said mickey mouse not now he playing games he said mickey mouse is the king of kings man in blaspheme he said santa claus now here you talking about idol worship santa claus means satan want to grip you in his claws that's what santa claus means santa claus is what he's satan now, I used to believe in Santa Claus, but God began to show me that Santa Claus is Satan. Santa Claus means Satan want to grip you in his claws. All he said is, ho, ho, ho. But Jesus came to set you free from Satan's claws. He said he worshiped King Kong. I worship the King of Kings. Then he said Godzilla. So you worship the dragon. Now he's exposing himself. <laughs> Somebody we worship man. Jesus Christ was more than just a man. 
Yes, he was a man, but he was God in the flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. St. John chapter 1, verse 10 said, And the world was made by him. Verse 14 said, And the Word was made flesh. Now look what he's going to say. Then he's going to say he worshiped Medea. Medea. Praise the Lord, my brother. Happy to see you. Something good is going to happen to you because Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Have a good day. Love you, brother. God bless you. Hallelujah. Then he's going to say, the man said he worshiped Medea. Stop right there. Medea. The Bible said a man not supposed to wear anything that's pertaining to a woman. And a woman is not supposed to wear anything that's pertaining to a man. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. We're living in days when men wants to be women and women wants to be men. Not all men. We got some real men. You say you worship Medea. No, I... Medea... Notice, he didn't say Tyler Perry. <laughs> he said Medea. Not to put Tyler Perry, Perry down. I got to pray for Tyler Perry because the man got molested, sodomized by a man and a woman when he was a child. And maybe that why it explains why he dressed like a woman. At times he's a man and then he dressed like a woman. We got to pray for him. That God would set him free. He got sodomized by a man and a woman when he was a child. Not to try to make excuses for him. By she through him. We got to pray for him. That cabbage of Medea, he has is to represent his art. But let me give you some history about Medea. Let me give you some knowledge about that. People of God, praise God for the Prince of Peace. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to say this on the microphone so folk can hear it. Because the Bible says my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge, because they have rejected knowledge. So I'm going to give you some knowledge about Medea. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for the gospel. Medea was actually a myth and Greek mythology. She was actually a sorcerer, a witch. God bless you, man of God. Have a great day. God bless you, bus driver. Praise the Lord. They're praising God on the bus. The transit worker praising God. They're receiving the Holy Ghost. Look at the birds coming around. The white doves. That's the Holy Ghost. Medea, I'm going to teach you something. Medea was actually a witch, a sorcerer, and Greek mythology who helped Jason with the golden, the golden fleece. She was actually a sorcerer. God is against witches. God is against Harry Potter. The Bible declares in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31, regard not them who have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards. For I am, am the Lord your God. Bible talks against witches in the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 18. So now this trees of low pass says you worship a demon. You a liar, and the truth is not in you. You a demon, you are a devil, and we're gonna cast the demons of witchcraft out. God is gonna destroy the demons of evil. God is gonna destroy satanic churches. If child molesters won't repent. Child molesters are going to hell. I'm going to ask God to protect you and send angels around you. I want to see God bless you today. I love to see people be happy. I ain't got no jealous spirit. When God bless you, I'm happy to see you get blessed. Got to love each other. Then the man never responded to me anymore. After I shut him down with the word of God. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So who you call yourself exposing? You just expose yourself. You better look at the man in the mirror. This is a man who is reprobated. Yes, Jesus said pray for your enemy. But also God give you discernment. Some folk you can't pray for. Some Many are reprobated. Look what the Bible declares. Romans chapter 1, verse 32. The Bible said, They that who commit such things are worthy of death. And when they have pleasures and others that commit sin, the Bible declares in Romans chapter number 6, verse 23, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Bible says God turned them over to a reprobated mind. They don't want to repent. Like this man don't want to repent. He know he's wicked. Went too far. Now you will be held accountable. God will deal with you. Don't think you can come against God's people. I God's servant. And think God will let you get by with it. God sees. God knows all. Hallelujah. You get on God's side. God will get on your side. God will bring down your enemy. He'll bring down every liar. They folk will lie on me in church. I've been lied on many times. They lied on Jesus. That's how you know that you're doing something right when people lie on you. That's how you know you're doing something right when the devil use your wife against you or the devil use your husband against you. That's how you know you're doing something right or the devil will not be bothering you if you're not on the right track. So be encouraged. God bless you, young man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God will raise you above your enemy. He said, I make it the head and not the tail. I make it above only and not beneath when you live a holy life. Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Like he took out Pharaoh. Like he took out all the devil worshipers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, he lied to my wife. That didn't put no damper in our marriage. I know folk lied on you, but God said, I'll fight your battle. God said he'll take out every enemy who lied on you. God will take out every enemy who did witchcraft against you. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Don't worry. God is shutting the enemy down. He's shutting the lion's mouth. Go to my high So that didn't phase me. This is how you deal with a narcissist. Don't stoop down to his level. I kept talking about Jesus. I said, because I said to him, it's not about me. It's not about my wife. It's about Jesus. It's about what God wants. He gets the glory. Yes, I love my wife, but I love God more. Yes, my wife loved me, but she loved God more than she loved me. We only been married only close to three years. Get ready to start a church. Then each other lie and say, oh, you're just about the money. There's a lot of false prophets who only preach for money, but I ain't the one. So stop trying to include me with the rest of the false prophets. Get your house in order with God. There's a young lady who called herself worshiping Yahshua HaMashiach. And she called herself exposing people. And got her chest all out. And got her husband. How you married? And up on the Facebook showing your chest and causing men to lust and you a married woman and you call yourself trying to expose somebody. No, expose yourself and get on the altar and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for cheating on my husband. Forgive me for cheating on my wife. Forgive me, Lord, for being lustful. How you going to expose somebody else and you ain't living right yourself? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're not in no position to expose somebody else. You can say Yahshua, Hamashiach, all you want to. It don't mean you are a believer just because you say Yahshua, Hamashiach. You got to live right. Jesus said, you love me. Keep my commandments. Live holy. Forsake your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. It ain't say forsake your body to a strip club. How are you in a strip club? And try to expose somebody about tell someone about this shit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Touch your Lord, fill it with the Holy Ghost. Get the mope out your own eye before you catch the beam out of someone else's eye. That's how you shut down a narcissist. Hallelujah. Look at the birds. They represent the angels of the Lord. That's how you shut it down. So I want you to know about this man. She's a low pass up in the Bronx. Have a nerve to have a Facebook praying with people in church. You hypocrite, you wolf in sheep clothing. So I want you to check them out on Facebook up in New York City in the Bronx so you know who's in your church because he might be talking behind your back and he's talking about black people 
talking about he's some Jew. That means he's a racist Jew. I'm not saying all Jews are racist because I got Jewish friends. This one is racist and he's wicked. The Bible said, if any man is wicked among you, put him away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. God gets all the glory.